What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in to Callie's Take. You know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell just so you can get the newest and the bonus content first. But hey, let's just go ahead and jump right in. You know, this is a huge season for Anthony Davis, you know, um, huge season for Anthony Davis, you know, because Anthony Davis could be end up could end up being traded only because, of course, his injuries. And when they talk about, you know, I was looking at the uh, NBA player uh, player uh, rankings and, you know, Anthony Davis is basically struggling to stay in the top 20. And, you know, and the reason for that is due to the fact that, you know, his injuries. And I've said before, Anthony Davis is a really good talent, you know, a really good player. Uh, he has a lot of greatness in him. But at the same time, you don't have that dog in him. And, you know, one thing Anthony Davis got to realize is this is a huge season for him because he has to try to redeem himself from last year. There was a lot more expectations last year. There was a lot more um, people thinking that the Lakers can actually do something with the team that they have because they had three top 75 players. And he was the one that was really the most disappointing to me because he didn't stay healthy. Um, he wasn't available. And, you know, they the, the, the Lakers couldn't rely on him, you know, and to be honest. They should be able to rely on him because, you know, he's supposed to be their future in regards to their best num the number one player on the team. And, you know, he can't seem to take that over because he can't stay healthy enough. And LeBron is still out here balling, playing at a high level that he always has. But he shouldn't have to do that. He should be a number two player on the team now, letting Anthony Davis run the show while he is, you know, in the background doing his thing and giving Anthony Davis the, the support he needs to help them win. And that's not the case. Anthony Davis is just not cutting it so far and honestly after this season if Anthony Davis doesn't play well he doesn't put up monster numbers I can see the Lakers letting him go along with Russell Westbrook and I can tell you what that would be an even better package deal than any other offer that the Lakers would have if they're trying to make a trade because any team would take Anthony Davis along with the package deal of Russell Westbrook at least right now anyway, because Anthony Davis' stock is still high enough for teams to take a chance on him because of who he is and how good of a talent he is. Now, any more injuries, if he has any more injuries this year and he doesn't play up to the level of expectation, I can definitely see the Lakers, you know, um, end up letting him go or trading him for somebody that, you know, one of the names you might have heard this offseason. Zach Levine was one of them. Kyrie was one of them. You know, you got other names in this offseason. I can definitely see them letting him, um, trading him next season, next offseason, if he doesn't perform to the highest level this season. And, you know, this is a big year for him because, like I said, if he wants to be a Laker a long time, this is going to personify what they are going to look at him as because um, but I think Anthony Davis, you know, he should be, you know, a top five player in the league. Talent wise, he has that type of talent, but talent doesn't always get you everywhere. You have to be available. You have to be on the floor. You have to be present and you have to be ready to play. And that's not something Anthony Davis is, you know, ready to do pretty much for the most of the time because he's always usually hurt. But at the same time, you know, he has a chance to redeem himself. And, you know, with the new coach, Darvin Ham, everything he's going to try to implement with this team, you know, maybe he's got a great plan in place for Anthony. Anthony Davis too like he said he had a plan to play for Russell Westbrook so we'll see how that pans out or how that goes I want to um, see if it really works out that way but either way I wouldn't be surprised you know if they keep Anthony Davis or trade him because they just can't really rely on Anthony Davis and really that, that's their biggest problem they can't rely on Anthony Davis to be healthy and they want to invest in him so much long term but it's very hard for them to do so so Anthony Davis I'm going to need you to have a great year this year if you want to stay on the Los Angeles Lakers and all this talk about oh I didn't pick up a basketball since April and all that stuff when that video dropped and everything a couple months ago it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way in LA and you know I'm pretty sure Anthony Davis knows that it did and with him knowing that he has to redeem himself, he has to play a lot better. And, you know, he has to, you know, um, you know, keep LeBron upright. And, you know, what I mean by that is he has to learn to take over the team and be the aggressive one, the dog on the team. So LeBron can, you know, uh, stay injury free as possible because LeBron has a better chance of not collecting injuries, you know, throughout the season. If Anthony Davis is there because he takes a lot of pressure off LeBron James from scoring and being the guy uh, on the team. So, I mean, 
Anthony Davis has to have a better season. Um, I, I'm not sure if he will personally, but I do think that, you know, he knows this is a, a, a way for him to prove that you know he can be that guy for the Lakers this season right here this season right here is going to tell a lot about Anthony Davis it's going to tell us a lot about who he is and what we should expect from him going forward or what we should not expect from him going forward and you know honestly I I personally don't believe in Anthony Davis only because like I said injuries have been plaguing him ever since he's been in the league you know it's been no different so I don't know how it's going to be any different now with the Lakers but I mean if he's not going to average somewhere around I'd say 23 points you know 11 rebounds in about I'd say two to three blocks a game if he's not put it like this if he's not going to give you 25 and I tell you what if he's not if he's not going to give you 25 and 11 a game then that's not good enough the Lakers probably are probably going to trade Anthony Davis if he can't give you 25 and 11 a game because that's exactly where he should be somewhere around those numbers some people some people might say his number should be even a little bit better so and i would agree with you so i mean um uh, let's see if and you know there's been a lot of talk about russell westbrook and you know patrick beverly and all these other names but the real target is on anthony davis can he sustain you know staying healthy throughout a season can he be the matter of fact can he be the number one guy on a team to win the championship That remains to be a question that remains to be seen. And we have to see if he's able to do that because so far he hasn't proven that. And, you know, the trajectory of him, even when he was in New Orleans, was he can actually, you know, be great enough to help lead a team to win a championship because he he has that type of talent. And if he has that type of talent, then we need to see that. We need to understand that. We need to know that. We need to know that he can do that. The only way we're going to know is to see him actually go out there and do it. This team here has got three top 75 players. He's one of them. So if that's the case, then we need more from Anthony Davis. And M- the NBA world is looking at Anthony Davis right now and saying, hey, if you want to be a top M- top five NBA player in this league, you got to not only play like it, but you got to be consistent enough to be looked at as that way. And you got to be a leader and help your team win. And like I said, I don't know if Anthony Davis has that type of leadership in him, but um, we know what LeBron James does, but that's not going to help Anthony Davis cause when it comes time for them to, you know, cut bait with him or keep him or, you know, whatever the case may be in that situation. So we'll see what happens with Anthony Davis. But um, if he doesn't have a big year, you definitely got to expect, you know, Anthony Davis to be uh, the one that's going to be the biggest name in regards to being traded this offseason. So let's see what happens and see how it uh, works out for him. But hey, that's my take on everything. Leave any comments in the comment section. Check out my other videos if you haven't. And hey, Cali out.